Today marks the one-year anniversary of the declaration of the coronavirus pandemic by the World Health Organization. It was on this date that we began shutting down daily life and surrendering our basic liberties. We were told that we could not leave our homes, go to our jobs, send our children to school, go to college, go to church on Sunday, socialize with our friends, have dinner in a restaurant, go to a sporting event, hold a wedding, have a funeral for a loved one, visit our parents in a senior facility, send flowers to a sick friend, get a mammogram, have our teeth cleaned, get a haircut, or go to the gym. Indeed, many of us were prevented from pursuing even a basic livelihood at all. Untold numbers of books will be written on the great pandemic of 2020. This episode will take its place in the history books alongside the American Revolution, World War II, and 9-11. What I fear will be written in those books is that the great pandemic of 2020 marked the beginning of a sea change in American attitudes about basic liberty. I keep thinking that pandemic be damned, it would have been hard to get my World War II dad and his peers to go along with all of this that it was so easy to get us to go along, frightens me. That's my word. What's yours? Go to youtellmetexas.com and you tell me.